Hello everyone, my name is Kenneth Bruni and welcome back. So this is going to be the chapter 7 of our lab tutorials and this is going to be programming for engineers SNG 207. Now in this video, we are going to go a little bit deep into strings. Now you already know what strings are, anything we declare in a single or double quotation mark. And over the times, we've actually been looking at string data types and in the most recent video, chapter six, we looked at concatenation and things of that sort. Now, looking at strings, we already know what these strings are. Now, there's what I used to say that we can declare strings in single or double quotation marks. But now we are going to look at when exactly do you need to use the double and when do you need to use the single quotation mark in your declaration. You can do both and you are good to go. But let's assume in this use case number one, let's assume I want to display exactly what I'm going to type over here. Something like University of Ghana. Okay. Remember what I said. I want to display exactly what I see over here. So now if I do print and do University of Ghana, let me change this. So that it appears exactly what I want to see. When I do this and run this, I get University of Ghana. But remember, for emphasis, I said exactly what I see over here. And this is what I mean. I want to have University of Ghana in that quotation mark. Now, because this is strange, ordinarily, I need to bring the quotation mark. But I want to have University of Ghana in a quotation mark like I have over here. So in order to do that, because this will by default take a quotation mark, then what then we can do is we can prefix this or we can actually bring or put this in a double quote before the single quote. So now when I do this and run, we now get University of Ghana in a quotation mark, just as we have over here. Good. Now we cannot do a single and a single, you could see that clearly we have a problem over here. So when we uh, try running this, we are definitely going to catch an error. And it says syntax error, invalid syntax. Perhaps you forgot a comma and it is even confusing as the more. So the most important thing is if you want to have University of Ghana in a quotation mark as we have it, then the outer quote then becomes double. So I'll save this. And when I run this, we have the University of Ghana. Now, what if you want to see something like University of Ghana in double quotes? So now let's try. Now there are two options over here. Or there are two possibilities. Let me put it that way. We can do a University of Ghana like this. But clearly, this is also going to yield a syntax error. So in order to get our way through, we have to bring the outer quotes Will now be single for the inner quote to be accommodated. So now when I run this, we now get the University of Ghana in that double quote we want to display over here. Good. Now, what if you want to see something like Ghana's Premier University? Okay. This is something. A lot of people have, I mean, I mean uh, there's a fact. So Ghana's premier university. So we would want to have Ghana apostrophe S premier university. So now this is how we go about this. And let me just clear what we have over here. So I'm going to type in, and because we need this apostrophe S to work, we need to bring in the outer quote will now be a double quotation mark. And I'll say Ghana apostrophe s you can see that clearly we don't have a problem over here premier university all right now when i run this we get exactly what we want over here now let's assume we want to type in something like this and we want to have let's say double quotes and let's say um let me see he is 
a good student so like he's a good student you definitely know what to do and this is actually going to be an exercise i would want you to try your hands on because definitely you i mean you try single double and see how it works out for you all right so now let's move on and make progress over here and from this point you're actually going to use the university of ghana a lot so we are going to look at what we have over here as indexing so python indexing starts from zero that's the note i have over here so now let's look at exactly what i mean by this so i'm going to have a variable called school and school is going to be a string because we are working with string so university of ghana is a string over here now if i decide to print school save this and let me come back here and come and clear my terminal now if i run this we do get the university of ghana printed out over here good now what if i want to print part of this and not exactly everything over here so now let's start i want to print just you out of university of ghana so in here what i can do is i can put in a square bracket so there's a square bracket attached to the school or the variable and now i'll say zero remember what i said python indexing starts from zero so when i run this we definitely see only you printed out over here so now let me just put out this in order for things to make sense over here so this university of ghana all the individual characters over here are assigned with some index so the first character which is capital u will be assigned index zero then we come to one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 up to the last one good and remember these are also characters in terms of what the actual sense of characters mean so the white spaces are also characters so currently if i decide to print for instance index 10 we are not going to see anything over here but actually something is printed out now let's see index 11 and index 11 sorry index 11 is going to give us the letter o out of the off we have over here so this is looking good now let's say we do something like index 200 clearly the characters we have over here this index is exceeded so now when i run this we definitely get an index error and this is quite intuitive and it says strange index out of range okay so this is looking good now let's see let's say index one and obviously index one is going to be the letter n so when i run this we do get the letter n over here now let's try and count this so this is going to be zero for you then you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen so the last a we have over here is index eighteen so let me just try it out index eighteen and when i run this we do get an a over here Let's try index 19. If index 19 is out of range, then indeed our last index is actually the A we have over here. Yes, 19 is out of range, so we can end at 18. Now this is looking good. Now you could tell that this was quite a process. Imagine we had about 200 characters over here and we just want to print the last character. We don't have to be counting to know that this is 200 for us to do that there's a very much simpler and easier way and of course a more prudent way of doing this so instead of doing index 18 or the last index we can actually do index negative one so python accepts negative indexing so when i do index negative one attached to school in a square bracket over here when i run this we do get the a over here now what if i do an index negative two if your guess is as good as mine it is going to be the last but one so now the counting will start from the last index so now when i run this we are getting an n over here now what if i do index negative 200 that would definitely be out of range clearly so now when i run this it says that there's an index error strange index out of range so when we are starting with a positive 
we start with index zero which is the first index but then when we are starting with a negative then we are counting from the last index we start with index negative one so that's just by the way now there's something we can also do over here which we refer to it as slicing so now in order to slice and i mean slicing is in its original sense we want to cut from one particular maybe index to another so we can bring in the colon character over here and whenever i do this colon and run this we don't seem to have any problem but then if i leave this empty then clearly we are going to catch an error over here so once again there's a syntax error if this is left empty there's no index position showing up over here so it says syntax error invalid syntax perhaps you forgot the comma this is even more confusing but then if we bring in the colon and save this and run we don't seem to have any problem over here now this is what this colon is doing this colon is actually going to help us do the slicing so we have the beginning of the colon and we have the end of the colon okay so the beginning of the colon we can start or you can say that we want to start from a particular index so now when i say i want to start from index zero and leave what i have over here blank as we have it after the colon then it is actually going to start the printing from the first index i mean which we have over here as index zero and it's going to print out everything so now see when i run this university of ghana gets printed now if i change this to index one then it's going to start the printing from n so you're going to get something like university of ghana so now when i run this you clearly see we have university of ghana if look over here we have nine as index y i mean index nine corresponding to character y so now when i bring in nine over here we are going to have something like y of ghana if i'm reading right okay so we get y of ghana so this with the starting of the i mean the index now let's go to the ending now the ending is going to show where it is going to be terminated so now let's assume and this is a little bit tricky as far as the ending of the index is concerned now let's assume we want to we just want to print university the ending of university is going to be on the ninth index but now see when i put out nine over here remember this is after the column and save this we are going to see university and not the y itself so as far as the ending of the indexing or the slicing is concerned if it is the end it doesn't print it out but the beginning will start printing from there so if you want to get university then it has to be 10 and in this case we get university out of university of ghana so this with slicing and we can actually use slicing especially when we are using numpy to actually get arrays and things like that unless you want to get a particular colon in a matrix or a particular row in a matrix we use some of these things and numpy is one of the uh, libraries we are going to work with so definitely when we get there i think inside of this when we get to um chapter 21 where we talk about libraries you could see that we have numpy over here and we are going to see how we work with this and this is going to help us with some data science projects that we'll be working on so everything is actually prepared and don't worry as and when we get there a lot of these things are going to make sense but for now just remember that whenever we bring in the square brackets we can put in an index and that index is going to be printed out if we want to slice then we bring in the colon and we can specify the beginning and the ending of our slice so i'm going to comment this one out and at this point i'm going to end the video here because this video may be very long i think this is okay for the part one and in the part two we are going to look at some functions and methods we have in strange so this is going to be the first part of the strange video and in the second part, we are going to look at the other things over here. Thank you very much and bye-bye.